Hello there, this is Yanis with episode number two of the Archive Basic Tutorial Series. In the previous video, we navigated around the application's environment and had the chance to play with the example project. Now we can take things one at a time and create a project from scratch. You can find this new project's link in the video's description, so feel free to run it on play mode and explore its diagrams and structure. The first thing we need to do is create a new project. Click on this icon up here to the left that says My Projects. And then we exit to our projects list. And now we have to click on this button here that says Blank Project. And we are in. This is a new project. Let's give it a title, first of all, by clicking here. And name it Tutorial. Our tutorial project already has one board called main board, but we can create one more to see how we can do it. So let's go to the sidebar and under boards click on new board. And then we can give it a name by right clicking and choosing rename. And let's name it beginning. At the moment, our board is an empty space waiting for things to happen. On Archive, we write our stories using some things called elements. They are the building blocks we use to structure our narrative on the boards. And there are three ways to add an element. The first one is by double-clicking in an empty area of the board. Or we can right-click and choose Create Element. Or finally, from this icon here that says Drag New Element, we can do just that. To delete those extra elements, we can select one and then press Delete or Backspace. Or we can right-click and choose Delete Selection. In case we want to select several things at the same time, we have to press the Control key or the Command key on a Mac, and then we click and drag, and we get a selection window. So, excellent, we have this first element, and what can we do with it? Oh, one note, if you're like me, you may want to turn on Snap to Grid, which is here. Because I enjoy having everything in line with everything else, compulsively. And so, let's give this element a title. And then we can press Tab, and we can give it some text content. And then we can press Escape. The next thing we need to do is set this element as the first one the player sees. So we right-click and Set as Starting Element. Now we can run this. And here it is. Hello world. Excellent. But now let's start an actual story, something that takes us somewhere. Let's have the player wake up from a nightmare. And now we can run this again, but here is a neat trick. We don't actually need to click on the play mode icon again. We can just switch back to the play mode browser window. And Archive has refreshed our current element. I love this. So we have created some text and then there's nothing to do on play mode. Elements are the units of our story and at the moment we only have one. So let's create a second element. Let's give it a title that says Get Up. Now we need to connect those two elements. If we go to the edge of an element, the cursor changes into a cross. And if we drag this, our first connection appears. Now let's run this again. And here it is. If we want to change the way elements connect, we can grab either end of a connection and reassign it to another element. And if we want to completely remove a connection, we can select it and press backspace or right click and delete selection. 
of course, we can make the player move from one element to another, but the real fun with interactive fiction stories comes when the player actually has choices to make. So let's give them their first choice. Let's create two new elements and connect them with our previous one. So from get up, we can go to Or we can and if we run this again, if we actually switch, we go straight to the second element that has those two new options. At the moment, the clickable choices that we see on play mode are the actual element titles. So we see Linetti Appointment, Shower, Get Up. And this is actually the only occasion where the element titles are visible to the player. But what if we want the choices to have different text from the element titles? This is what labels are for. If we double-click on a connection, a label appears, and then press Escape or the Tab key. The other way to add a label is to right-click on a connection and create label. And as a matter of fact, I will change this title here to Office. And I will put a label here that says... So if we run this, we can see that the text of our choices is now the text of the labels. One last note on labels, the text in the labels can be longer than a few words, and it can even include line breaks. So if we want to write a haiku connection, there's nothing really stopping us, so why not? And this will render like here. Well done! We just started our first project on Arcweave. It may not look so great yet, but let's be a little patient. In the next video, we'll learn how to format text, elements, and connections. If you're finding these tutorials helpful, please consider subscribing to Arcweave's official YouTube channel. You can also follow Arcweave on Twitter and Facebook. Let the games begin! Thanks for watching, and we'll speak very, very soon. Mm -hmm.